everyone. Welcome. gives visibility to, uh, to our work and our efforts, our network, our services. Um, it helps us to mobilize completely new communities uh, that otherwise would probably not be uh, connected to, uh, to what we are doing. Then we want to push uh, the boundaries of how we can innovate uh, marine data because eModNet already has a lot of different users, uh, research, policy makers, industry, blue economy. Hackathons are very important because we have user interfaces, but we also have machine-to-machine -machine services. And there's a whole new, uh, new generation who want to work with services and they want to develop all kinds of cloud-oriented applications. We're creating a future generation of uh, marine scientists that are connected globally. A way to try to create a virtuous cycle between government, beachgoers and local businesses, being able to show beachgoers what they can see at a beach. It is then possible for government to communicate with them and of course for local businesses to have a very targeted audience to advertise to. We call it a geo framework for earth observation and wildlife monitoring and we did this implementing a model for marine protected areas spatial planning. So what we do is to add uh, tracks of marine wildlife. We implement earth observation from EMODMET and we develop a model in a spatial temporal perspective. So the Carbon Games is a climate tech startup that gamifies sustainability. At this hackathon, we built an app that allows small boat owners to get from point A to point B with the least carbon emissions. The hackathon taught me an awful lot about the passion that people have for the ocean and da using data to create innovation in the ocean. We learn as much from the participants and the participants learn from us um, in terms of how they look at uh, uh, problem solving. So it, it also creates a lot of energy in our own community um, and makes it really worth it. It's very rewarding. The most interesting fact I learned is that we basically don't know anything about 90% of the oceans. That we managed to connect young scientists, young marine scientists and data scientists and ocean enthusiasts from around the world and they worked for the benefit of uh, our ocean. My uh, younger colleagues had the opportunity to use these uh, uh, web services and infrastructure and learn how this data can be used in the real uh, uh, working life. Having the opportunity to mentor young scientists is an enormous achievement and a personal satisfaction because these people can teach me a lot about my future work as well. Um, I would say just take the risk. You will find your niche, like your small place where you can actually be helpful. Bring whatever experience and, and interests you have. It can really be the thing that, that leads your team to victory. The people that collect the data and make available the data and information are so much into the technical aspects of it that they don't have the imaginations or the skills to really bridge that gap. So if you have this middle field of, of young people, architects, uh, technical people, scientists to come together and brainstorm and bridge that gap, that's, uh, that's what we're looking for. Mm.